We focused on the forced air climb for, for a number of reasons. First of all, because of our mechanism of action, we think that uh, uh, the drug will increase strength, particularly in the proximal muscles. Uh, th that is in the in the thigh and, and limb girdle around the uh, around the hips, um, and so the a good way to measure that is uh, using the four stair climb. It performs statistically a little bit better uh, than the six-minute walk test when we uh, put them side by side, and we've discussed it with the regulators, and they're happy to accept this as a. Uh, as a uh, primary endpoint in our study, obviously, otherwise we wouldn't be using it. Um, it's obviously easier to conduct because it just takes a few seconds, uh, rather relative to the six-minute walk test. Uh, question. So when we designed the study originally, we had quite a limited set of natural history data to to base our design on uh, and the, the really the the focus of the natural history data set was uh, in this narrow window and as we're seeing with some of the other drugs uh, in development in this area it's not so easy to uh, to uh, demonstrate efficacy with these fairly complex functional endpoints. Uh, so we really have to focus on the populations that we think are going to uh, be cleanest in, in uh, separating out uh, the uh, drug-treated group from, from a placebo group. Uh, and, and that's why we focused on that uh, on that small uh, limited age group. Now subsequently uh, we are looking at some natural history data that suggests that it may be possible to increase the age range and we're looking into whether that's possible to 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 extend that. Um, but at the moment uh, it's a six to ten year old uh, age requirement.